quid. The auctioneer cried, sold. The next thing I knew, I was minus three pounds and the proud possessor of the ship. At least you're lucky he didn't ask you the cost of your coat. Three pounds. Of all the blasted idiots. It happens every time. It's getting so I can't poke my nose out of the house without it costing me a fortune. I'll go. Well, you can always sail it in your tub. Think of the fun. A few more trips to the auctioneers and you can be admiral of your own fleet. I beg your pardon, but is there a gentleman here that... There you are. Well, I'm afraid Don't I... apologize. We've never met. That is, I saw you coming out of the auction room and tried to catch up with you. Oh, really? Well, if I'd only known, I assure you I'm not hard to catch. Oh, permit me. I'm Algy Longworth, and this is my friend, Captain Drummond. That's it. I beg your pardon. I hope you'll pardon my breaking in this way, but this ship that you have in your hands is my reason for being here. Really? I want it. You paid three pounds for it. I'll give you five. Five? We wouldn't think of it. How much, then? It's not for sale. Not for sale? As you see, that even the thought of it shocks my friend to the very depths. Why do you want it? Why do you? It has a sentimental value. Oh, an heirloom, perhaps? Yes. For an heirloom, it's not very old. This wood is still new. I have my own reasons for wanting it. How much will you take? I'm afraid we couldn't part with it at any price. Oh, but you certainly... I have 